hi guys this is Raja uh, in this video tutorial I'm going to teach you something about the animation the animation uh, I'm not I'm not an animator basically I am I can teach you something about the unity uh, unity engine so in this tutorial I can give you some basic information about the animation animation tools techniques which is used in unity games okay okay let us start the tutorial okay how to attach an animation to an object so i'm going to create an object okay i'm going to game object create object and select spear okay i have created an object okay the spear okay how to attach an animation property for this object to attach an animation property go to component miscellaneous and click animation and now the animation property has been attached to the game in inspect you can see that in inspector okay now I'm going to remove it okay you can also attach the animation property from animation windows also to open the animation window go to windows and click animation okay now you have opened the animation window okay now how to create an animation curve for this before that you have to create an animation file for this object okay i'm going to create by clicking this to your key i'm going to get create an animation file go to test and test over the test okay that was my previous one I don't want that file so I overrated that okay okay how to add a curve for this object for this animation okay you can easily add the curve by selecting this minus point and add curve the curve is added with the keyframe a keyframe in the unity are represented as a diamond okay so what is this number represents okay i'll show you what is that if you see one point one is to three the one represents second and 30 represent the frame that is second is to frame that is the one you can see okay what are the value can be animated in this animation window you can see this are the values can be animated float color and vector 2 vector 3 and vector 4 okay it can be user defined variable or a variable from the user script or it can be like translation like positions color color material color rotation all those things but the user boolean variable or vector or like array variable or structure cannot be animated through the animation window okay but there are some real value of boolean can be animated that will be the inbuilt along with the unity that variable must come along with the unity the user boolean value cannot be animated okay how it can be animated as a boolean if the value gets zero then the boolean will be false the boolean value variable value will be false if the value is greater than 0 like 0 0.1 or 1 or 5 or 10 any value the value of the boolean variable will be true okay so this is the one okay this is all the four float var var variable that is vector 3 variable so you can animate it so i'm going to animate this okay i made some movement now after animating this object I'm going to save it okay control yes in window or commands yes in Mac okay okay what is this animation uh, properties in inspector says animation which represent the current animation to be played uh, default animation that is uh, the default animation that will be played when the play automatically is enabled okay animation a list of animations what is animations a list of animation that can be accessed from the script okay 
the list can be anything you can increase the list by increasing the size by five then you can have five animation elements you can keep it as one right now and play automatically okay if this is enabled when player stops the game the animation will play automatically okay the animation will play automatically what is animation physics okay if it is enabled the animation will interact with the physics okay this is the one then if animate uh, animate only if visible if it is enabled the current playing animation will not play if the object is not in the screen is on the screen okay i will show you some real world example i'll show you in from my game actually you can't see any animation property for this object okay i have attached the animation property for this uh, object to the parent object okay so you can see that i enable this play automatically so if i play the animation the object will automatically animate okay i'll show you the curve for this animation okay the f key in the animation window is used to focus the selected uh, curve or if you not selecting the uh, any key key frame in the animation view and if you press f it will select it will show you the entire animation curve okay I'll, I'll, this is the animation uh, curve which i used for this animation you can see that okay what is this represent in this animation window okay this represent the current frame which the animation is playing okay. if i move it you can see it is playing the current frame number of that okay what is this represent this represent moving the current slider that is the red line which you can see in the animation window to the next key okay okay what is this button the percent is playing the animation okay if you select this and the animation will start playing okay if you want to play only this selected part of the keyframe okay this i'm going to focus it if you play this the key will be played only the selection part only not every one huh? okay now i'm not going to focus everything okay what is the add keyframe represent is used to add keyframe at any point so i'm going to click add you can see a keyframe is added at that specific point in every curve okay what is this event okay i will show an add event practically to you in another way okay what is the show button represent is you can filter the uh the, on the list which is showed in this uh, uh view in this window okay because the object has many script like audio sources also being shown in the animation animation window the cube information and the background sound script and the animation uh, property is also showing okay if you s select if you press this it will if it will show animated it will only show the animated curve which property has the animated curve will be shown in this view okay this is the loop method what is the loop actually if you press once the animation will play only one time okay and if you press loop it will be loop forever so you can see it is going on looping looping and looping and looping yeah and you can clamp your uh, clamp it forever and ping pong it again what is ping pong if you start the animation will play as a ping pong like if it starts like here and here and here and it will come back again then it start back from the first this is called ping pong okay so i may i want it i want this animation to be loop so i made it as a loop 
okay yeah, now I'll teach you some basic uh, basic thing or of how to add uh, an event okay add a event to do that I'm going to create a sphere let's create a sphere go to game object and create the other and create a sphere okay I have a sphere right now I'm going to maximize it okay I'm going to attach an animation property to that okay okay I can go into the car I'm going to create a new file test I'm going to override the old one I don't want that animation okay <coughs> how to an add an event okay I'm going to add it right now I'll tell you easy method okay event is nothing but you have can use the event to call a function in your script okay when a certain point in animation reach you can call the event function that is the function in your script okay i'll tell tell you what it is so i'm going to create a script okay i'll tell you this animation event Now I'm going to attach the script to this object. Just select the script and drag it to the inspector window. Now the animation event script is attached to it. So I will teach you the function JavaScript in future tutorial. So right now I have no time to teach that. So just uh, just I will tell you just a simple function, not too more complicated. So I have declared a function called test and a variable called a and I named I would give a data type as for float and if a is greater than 10.0 good yes okay now uh, I have write done a script I have done a script called a very simple script if the value of a is greater than 10 print yes you will get you will uh, if the value of a is greater than 10 you will get yes uh, will be printed in this console okay I'll clear it uh, okay how to add an animation event in this curve okay before that you have must create an animation file animation clip and you have to add a second in which second this uh, event must this function must be called to add a animation event you can just click this button add event or you can double click this area you can add it now you can see the test function is appeared in the, the function name okay I have clicked it you can tell it as 12.0 now I am going to save it okay let us play the animation hmm? Let us see how it is. Yeah. Forget all those things. It is, it is something other than it's a warning message of the game. You can see the yes. The yes is printed because it uh, the value of A is greater than 12. Because the animation curve is called at that position and this function has been called. So the value of A is assigned as 12. 12 point zero and you were there as a as this uh, condition gets okay so we will get printed as yes okay this is the way you can attach events to the animation curve so that you can attach some sound script make the object to emit some sound when they are uh, when they are reaching a certain animation events can do many things with this events okay and I will teach you the I'll give you a second part in animation so we'll meet in the next tutorial so I cannot continue fully fully about the animation still lot of things are yet to be covered so I'll see you in the next next tutorial bye